What's up, what's up everybody? Oh, I am so excited today. I'm so excited we finally get to use a monster that I'm... Did I mention I was so excited? Did I mention I was so excited? Actually, we're gonna take Chloe out of this. Um, I know what Chloe's... The reason I was gonna show Chloe is, um... Is because we'll put, we'll put Galleon back in, as usual. But the reason I was gonna show Chloe is, uh... Cause she can do immunity and then he's not gonna get, uh... He's not gonna get stunned. He's not gonna stun himself with his third skill of the drawback. But yes, we're gonna we're gonna do a spotlight on Fire Frankenstein, Mr. Bulldozer. Thank you, Beanie Dragon. Oh my God, coming through like a champ, Beanie Dragon. Six starring the bulldozer, so we can. Uh, I mean, I'm sure he didn't do it for me. I'm sure he did it for himself because he wanted to play with it. But um, but yes, we we finally get to uh, we finally get to we it, it hasn't been that long, so we get to play with Bulldozer, six star Fire Frankenstein. I'm very excited to see how this is gonna do. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so, why am I excited about this? I'm excited mostly for this third skill. I can't see the name of it, but we have uh, Strix with every last bit of power left in the body. Sounds very strong. Uh, this attack will ignore the target's defense. Also sounds very strong. But you will be stunned for one turn after performing this attack. Okay, so downside, stunned after performing the attack. So it seems like with a downside like that, you miss a turn of attacking. It seems like this better be damn strong. And I think it might be. So, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So, and, uh, the, the damage of this attack increases according to your defense. Okay, that's the, one of the reasons that I have, uh, the Orion as the leader. And then I have this little cupcake over here. Come on, cupcake, what do you do? Okay, so she's going to, her, her leader skill is going to increase defense. But it's really for this lockdown, which, uh, increases the defense as well. So, we're gonna see, uh, actually, you know what... You know what? I'm gonna take Seek. I'm gonna take Seek just because I don't know. I don't know how. Um, I don't know how the how high the uh, the crit rate on uh, on this guy is. So we want to we want to see him do some damage. We want to see him hopefully crit and do some damage with that. But uh, but what else do we have? We have the first skill uh, attacks two times damage proportion to your defense. The each attack has a 25% chance to stun the enemy for one turn. If the target is not suffering any additional harmful effects, one additional. If the target is not suffering any harmful effects, one uh, additional attack is added. Okay. And then we have Body Press crushes all enemies and decreases their attack bar by 30% each. The damage increases according to your max HP and defense. So he's an HP monster. He's really a defense monster in my opinion. But he also needs some HP as well. So let's see how much damage we're going to... I am super psyched. Let's see how much damage we're going to do with this. I thought, I thought we were frozen. I'm super psyched. Never mind. We're frozen. All right. So let's. We're gonna do harmless prank. Don't really need to. But. But we're gonna. But we're gonna do it anyway. We have lockdown. I keep forgetting lockdown is a, is an attack that has the. Oh damn. We actually did some damage to him. Uh, wasn't trying to. Wasn't trying to. Okay. So we're going to try. Uh, this third skill first. We don't need to attack the guy with the defense break because we're going to ignore defense at already. So, also this is going to do, it's going to buff the uh, crit rate and defense just like a Randy would do if you guys have a Randy, if you guys are doing Randy Copper. Similar. Okay, so let's see how much damage this is going to do. Please, please, please. Let's, let's do it on the green guy. Okay. Okay, we did 24,000, really? Oh, man. I thought we were gonna do more damage with that. I right, we'll we'll see how uh, we'll see how he's ruined though. We'll see how he's ruined and if we can uh, if we can do potentially more damage. And of course we're stunned, so we'll have to keep uh, we'll do random stuff. Oh my god! Who's texting me? Oh my god! Who's texting me at this time of night? Mm mm. All right, so we're gonna <laughs> we can't, we can't really see him do too much. Uh, okay, so now we have no defense break. Let's try the uh, hammer punch against no defense break. But we have attack buff and defense buff and crit rate buff. So we're going to do... Uh... Okay, so 15,000. Really? Oh my god, I thought he was going to do more damage than that. I really did. But we, have, we had no defense break on that too, so... Okay... Oh, you know what I could have done? Oh, I'm so stupid. 
I could have I could have did the briefing against the bulldozer. I'm pointing like you guys can see me. I could have did the brief the briefing on the bulldozer and he would have been ready to attack. Oh my god, stop texting me! Doing videos. What's the matter with you? Okay, so let's do the body press. He's got uh is this based on, uh, this increases according to your max HP and defense. Okay, so it's based on two different things. We can see how much it's going to do to the defense break, and we can see how much it's going to do to the guys with no advantage or disadvantage, the ones being yellow. Call them neutral guys. And, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so I saw 4,000, 4,000, 7,000. So we'll see. We'll see, M maybe he's room to be, uh, to have more HP. Perhaps. Perhaps. Alright, so we're gonna do lockdown. There you go. And we'll take care of you. Alright, so we'll do full power punch. Do we do well, we don't have a crit rate buff, we don't have an attack buff. And we do have a we don't need we don't need the defense break here though. We don't need the defense break. I'll just try it again. Okay. So that last one did not crit. Okay, so he's stunned now. And we're going to briefing on him. And he's ready again. And we're going to do the hammer punch. Okay, 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, so let's check out his runes. Man, you know what? I was really excited for this guy. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have been. Maybe I shouldn't have been too excited. Because he does not seem like he's doing as much damage as I thought he was going to. Alright, so let's go check out Beanie Dragon. And look how Beanie Dragon's a good player. He's So he's got, um, he's got, I would assume he's got some good runes on him. Then again, he's got a lot of awesome monsters that he's got a rune as well, so. So yeah, okay, he's got, yeah, he's got, look at this. He's got, um, this second skill is based on HP and defense, so maybe that's doing less damage because he doesn't have more HP. But look, he's got good defense, he's got good crit rate, he's got good crit damage. Yeah, I... man. Well, let's check out, let's check out his uh, skill up. So he doesn't have more skill ups. We could do more damage with more skill ups. We could have more chance to stun with uh, more skill ups as well. We have the decrease attack bar by 30%. Um, but we have, so we could do one more cool time, uh, cool, cool time downturn. Seriously, people still texting me! Holy crap, as soon as I click record, I'm the most popular guy in the world. Really, that's how it works. Okay, so, then we have full power punch. Uh, this attack will ignore the target the defense, well, we already know what it does. So we could do 25% more damage, and cool time turn, minus one. Man, but I thought we were going to do more damage than that. I thought it was going to be, like, really ridiculous. I think, I think Copper is still the way to go. It looks like... Okay, so he's got... He could do more damage if he was on Rage. So we still have good... We still have pretty good crit damage on him, though. He's got the uh, defense here. Accuracy, crit rate, crit... This is such an awesome rune. Holy crap. This is such an awesome rune for him, too. This is a great rune for him. We have crit damage here. Accuracy, crit rate, attack... Another great- it's a 5 star, it's a 5 star, but look at these substats. We got the accuracy for the stuns, uh, and to decrease the attack age. We have the crit rate, which is great for crit damage. Anything that has crit damage on 4 crit rate subs are very good for. Now we have attack, which is never a bad thing. We have defense, uh, 6 star rune here. We have speed, crit damage, crit damage here, resistance, accuracy. Good runes, like I said, this is a high level player. He's got good runes to put on, on these guys. So we have, we can't do defense on uh, slot 1, so we do have at least HP, crit rate, accuracy, and crit damage, and resistance. So this is where a lot of that HP is coming from that's going to help him on his second skill. And we have crit damage, crit rate, defense, HP. So this rune could be a little bit better, actually. This rune, this slot could, could have improvements, but it's not like it's bad. It's got the stuff that we need to do damage with that third skill, and a little bit of HP, which is going to help the second skill. So, but these three are good for the third skill. And then we have speed, defense, resistance, and crit rate. So we got defense and we got crit rate. Can we get more defense subs? We could get... Well, we can't get these. That's primary status defense. Uh, so we don't have... We can't get that defense here. So we could get a little bit more defense there. We can get some more defense there. So there's room for more defense. But he's, these runes are pretty good, actually. So... 
I thought he was gonna do, you know what, I was expecting some like ridiculous like something that said like 50,000 damage to pop up. And I see two for not even 20,000 each. So that's kind of a bummer considering these are actually pretty good runes on him. Pretty good runes. So we gotta look at the rest of his kit, so the rest of his kit. Uh, so we still, we do still have, we can do, um, we can make him kind of tanky and make him, um, put revenge on him maybe so that he keeps stunning on, uh, on revenge. And we can still do this. This is good for, well, it's good for, it's, it's really a, a decent AoE attack. So I wish it would have done more damage, but, but it is still an AoE attack. You know I like those. You know I like those. Yeah, oh my god. Bulldozer! Come on. No! Don't give me that! Don't give me that, Bulldozer. No, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. You disappointed me, okay? You go in the corner. You, go in the corner, Bulldozer. Nobody puts Bulldozer in a corner. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. That's it for the Bulldozer Spotlight. Thank you again, Beanie Dragon, for letting us use your Bulldozer, the Fire Six Star Frankenstein, well, the Awakened Fire Frankenstein. Um, thank you very much for letting us, for letting me, for letting me and us take a look at him. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, I will see you in the next adventure to Chipotle to get some burritos.